Hello beautiful people, how are you all? I hope you're all safe and well and enjoying this very mixed weather we're having at the moment. I come today with an unboxing and anybody who knows me will know that, uh, well, will not be surprised that it's from Admore Zest. Now, Admore Zest is Rebecca and uh, her and her lovely daughters run admorzest.com and they've got a youtube channel i'll show you more on that in a minute this is an easter present what me and my wonderful smurf do is we buy each other items instead of eggs because they last longer and you get something that you can keep so enough waffling let's get on with it beautifully packaged in this box and very very full look at this isn't this an awesome Awesome gift. Just decided it looks slightly dark, so Ooh, sorry about the noise. Is that a bit better? Yeah, that's a bit better. Right. So uh, we always get one of these little cards that I'll cover the code up. No, no, I won't because it's red. That's uh, from the candy box. So if you wish to order from them, that is their details. Right, and it says, thank you for your order. The support you give our small business is very appreciated. And they're on YouTube, Etsy, Facebook, and Instagram. And that is the link there. Now let's get into this wonderful gift bag, uh, box. So I've seen Rebecca using these baggies on one of her Whipple Muffles. And I thought, what a wonderful idea. And what you do is like, I mean, obviously you can store whatever you wish on them. Re uh, Rebecca suggested like when you're kitting up, if you've got leftover gems, that this is a good idea to leave them. So, and you can then hook them near where you're working. And I just thought, I think that's a great idea. So I had to get these, I couldn't resist. Shall we have a look and then go on to the next thing? Yeah, let's do that. And so we we'll just put the box here because obviously it's all coming out of the box. So. What do we get in here? We get ooh, we get these wonderful baggies. I think there's 20 of these baggies. Yes, there is 20 of these baggies, which is quite a lot really, and the nice quality. I love the hologram holographic. Yeah, you know what I mean, like the rainbow effect. <laughs> and yeah, I like these. Let's have a look at how this ring works. Because genuinely, I have not. Oh, okay. So, oh, that, that's to shut it. So, do you just lift it up to open it? Or... All right. So, I don't want to force it. <laughs> I'm scared of forcing it. All right. So, that's <clears throat> that's to lock it. And then you only need it open a little bit so you can get your baggies on. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, oh, no, oh, I did it. I was really worried, guys. I'm a perfectionist. And obviously, all my bags have to go on the same way. So I'm just... I've just got this neatness compulsion. Um, I don't know what it... Well, I, I just always add it. If it's... If I've, like, when my kids were little, if they had a set of anything, I had to know where all the set parts were and stuff. And, which was, of course, so much hilarity with my sisters, but, you know. Right, so, that's all the baggies on. Then you clip it together like that. Mm, camera. I always forget where the camera is on this. So then you've got your little baggies, and you can take them off or leave them on there. And I just think they're awesome. And I'll be using them for like when I'm kitting up. I recently bought a rather big picture that I don't think I've done a video yet. So that will probably be my next video because I'll be kitting that up. Um, anyway, so that's those. Keep that little bag. You never know what we could use it for. 
I'm, I'm afraid I'm one of these people that can't throw anything away. Right, so what else have I got? Well, I got these wonderful uh, bookmarks to go in my new Add More Zest Diamond Painting Logbook. Um, on a previous video, my partner did buy me some bigger rings because I will be buying more, more pages. So here's my new logbook and here are some extra pages for my new logbook. <coughs> Pardon me. And I bought these bookmarks. This one says, if you hear a voice within you say you cannot paint, then by all means paint and that voice will be silenced. Leonardo... Sorry, Vincent van Gogh. It's right there in black and white. You think I could read? Uh, <laughs> this one really made me chuckle. I only buy craft supplies with a project in mind, or because they're pretty, on sale, or because I really want them. <laughs> That's me, but it's also my Smurfy because he spoils me. And then this one says, "You will never find time for anything if you won't. If you want time, you must make it." And that's Charles Buxton. I must confess, I don't know Charles Buxton, but I will be looking him up. So, I will be putting these in as different pages in the book. There is one here at the back, which is the Vincent Long Gough one, but that's fine by me. And I will be adding these pages to the book. So, we don't need this box now, so that box can go. Which I will probably save to store stuff in, if I know me. So let's have a quick look at the Admiral Zest book. I won't keep that back. I don't store anything, but mm, mind you, you never know. Anyway, so I will add this bookmark to these ones, which is perfect. Right, let's have a look. So it says, Add More Zest Diamond Painting. Add More Zest Diamond Painting Lockbook. So then you've got your stash where you can write your name of your kits when you completed them. So I would like to put one of my uh, bookmarks, say here. My wish list, which is ones that I want. I'm not filling that in because I know my Smurfy will go and have a look and do anything he can to help me get things and he's already very good now i will definitely be putting a bookmark here so let's have a look um spares oh, i'm gonna move vincent van gogh once this is a first i've never put one of these on so oh So that's the spares and what you're doing here because i've been watching rebecca uh your dmc numbers are all here and when you've got uh, that color you can mark off and they've got square and round so say uh eight eight one three and you've got some of them you take that off and that shows you what space you have without having to drag all your spare boxes out and go through them which i think is a brilliant idea so then what do we have after that oh special and a b oh i like that well what i'll do seeing as that's spares and i had two vincent van gogh ones i don't know i don't know i'll wait and see i'll wait and see what more i've got before i do now so that's for your special AB ones. Right. So this is actually the logbook. And I know exactly which one I want for this. I want this one. No, 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 I don't. I want the one that made me laugh. Um, uh, now, my partner, my, my wonderful Smurfy John, bought me the bigger uh, black circles that go here. And as this book grows, I will probably change them these little ones out for it <coughs> so that is um that's in there in front of my log book and 
Right, so let's have a look what you get. You get a space here where you could put your picture or your colour charts. You've got a space here for um, notes and like maybe what you used to do, what, what tray you used, what pen you used, stuff like that. Over here, you've got, uh, I would put the canvas name here because that, I think that's what that's for. And then you've got the size. Is it poured glue, double-sided, full drill or partial? Uh, drills, whether they're round, square, AB or rhinestones. Colours, how many drills? Where you purchased it from? Uh, the date you arrived? Um, cost, delivery notes? When you started? When you finished? How long you spent? And then final thoughts, whether you kept it, gifted it or sold it? And final notes so I think that is lovely and I'm guessing with this being a long book like this yeah there are quite a few of these ones so what I'm going to do with these extra log book pages I'm going to add them at the end so time tracker oh so this is so you can keep a look at how much you're spending on each one on what date, which I think is a great idea. And then what, what have we got past that? And then we've got some spare pages that will um, for extra notes and things that you used to write. So, uh, well, how apt we have this one, which says you will never find time for anything. You must make it. I think that's a great one to put there in the time tra tracker um, section. Since it talks about time, I think that's awesome. And all right, let's see where we're going to put this last one. Oh, I never put that one in. I've never really used these kind of. <coughs> Don't you apologise. I've got a cold. It is a cold. It's not. It's not um, the flu. So shall I start with my stash? Or shall I put it? Yeah, go on. I'm going to put this one. But right at the very front. Because I don't need another one for the stash really. Because I've got that one. For the spares. And the AB spares are still spares. So I don't really need a bookmark for the specials and the ABs. Yeah, so I'm going to put it there. I do apologise for the little bell, that's my cats running around. What they do is they get this mad five minutes where they chase each other all over the place and they want to do everything. Um, with the bells, they make a lot of noise. So how are we looking now? Oh, doesn't that look smart? And you can just go straight to your bookmark, seeing it falls on the bookmark. I like that. Right. So, why did I have, why did I buy extra pages when I have only literally um, only just bought a new book? Wow! Well, on my first log book, because I'm not going to lie, I didn't keep a log book for the longest time, um, which I regret now. So, on my first log book, I went back and I put in every photo, every photo, and I went through my history. Obviously, if it was a present of people, I don't know how much things cost or when they ordered it and things, but I improvised and did what I could. So I thought, well, I'm going to want more pages. And these are really, really good deal on Rebecca's site. If you bear with me for just one second, it won't take long to come up because if I just put in the first name, it'll come up because not that I hope that I um, haunt the site very much, but, you know, I'm straight here. Right, so for the extra pages for the journal, it's only £1.50. So, I mean, that is such a good deal. And you can't, it's great value. I mean, my my wonderful partner, my Smurfy John, um, so he's got the tray for Mademoiselle. He bought me a wonderful pen. Um, he bought me the spare ones of those, you know, and... I, I just love the site. I think by the time I finish, I'm going to end up with one of everything on the site. Because um, I'll say to him, "Oh, I like that. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to get that." And 
sometimes just as a comment, you know, not thinking. And then he, he'll say, well, like, he's, like in this case, he says, well, for Easter, how would you like some of those? So these are literally like pages to go in the back of that section of the book. Literally, oh, and let's see what we can do with that one. Right now, I don't think I'm going to need the logbook page, but have a look. We'll work our way through it. Right, logbook. Right, so if we go to the back of this section. Shall I add the logbook page in? Decisions, decisions, guys. Yeah, go on. I'll, I'll keep it for now. If I decide I don't want it, I can always remove it later, can't I? Can I put them all on in one go? I'm not going to. These things are new for me, so... I know they've probably been out years, but... When I was doing it like this growing up, guys, it was hole punched. There you go, Harold. Showing my age. Right, so that's done. And then I'll put this section in. And I'll probably, I mean, I won't ever have to buy the extra gem ones. Uh, my tip for filling in your spares is do it in pencil. Tick, you know, tick them off in pencil. Then if you use your spares, you could always rub them out. Where if you do it in pen, you're kind of committed. Um, or you could just buy new pages, you know, I mean, Rebecca's very, very got good deals on them, so, so, that is my stash, that is my rings for my, when I kit up, for my leftovers, and trust me, the next kit I've got coming is rather big. <coughs> I seem really, really big, so I'm expecting to definitely uh, be filling these. And I just love this book and my, my new bookmarks. I do apologise again for my cats who have to wait until I film to come on and... Oh, yeah, there's this bookmark, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I put that one. <laughs> old age guys it's it's bad you know so thank you for joining me and even bigger thank you to Rebecca for sending these out but the biggest thank you in the world goes to my Smurf my my John for such a wonderful Easter gift and you know the best thing about this not only will it help me with my diamond painting no calories. <laughs> anyway, guys, have a great Easter. Please, if you haven't, go and check out uh, admorzest.com. They are wonderful. Their prices are really good. And they are based in the UK for the UK people that follow me. Um, on that being said, please take care. Stay safe. And keep your thoughts out to anybody that might need a helping hand. Be there. Let's unite people. Bye.